Hi, I'm Ohio nursing home abuse lawyer, Will Eady. I'm gonna answer the question, can my nursing home lawyer go into the nursing home or assisted living facility to gather evidence that might be important in my case? And the short answer is yes, the lawyer can, and I would say should get into the facility to gather evidence. And the way you do that is under some, one of the civil rules. Once you file a lawsuit, you can do what's called a site inspection. A site inspection allows you to go in and measure and sample and take photos and videos of a facility. Uh, in fact, I'm in the office today doing a motion to put before the court my request to get into a site inspection in an assisted living rape case where the facility is refusing to allow us into the building. The lawyer can't exactly explain why, but just you know, says HIPAA and refuses to let us in, and we're gonna fight that to get the information. So why is that important? Why get these photos and videos? Why take these measurements in the facility? Can't we just uh, you know, file the lawsuit and talk to the witnesses and take depositions and go from there? The short answer, or the most important answer, I think, as to why your lawyer should be going in and doing this kind of work is because it allows you to show the story to the jury. As a trial lawyer, at the end of the day, while most of my cases are you know, won well before trial and through all the, the blood, sweat, and tears that goes into it before you ever get to a trial, and most cases don't go to trial in everyone's practice, I'm always aiming for trial. And the reason is that's the one thing I can force the other side. It's one thing my clients can do to, is to force the other side to sit down and be judged by a jury. So for me not to give away that power, I need to be prepared to go in and talk to a jury and put on witnesses and evidence that will allow me to convince the jury of the righteousness of our case. And as human beings, we like story and we like photos and we like videos. We're used to seeing those kinds of things nowadays. We're used to watching shows and watching movies. So the idea that as a lawyer, I would get up and just kind of talk and talk and talk and somehow paint a picture of a scene uh, it really is gonna be a boring experience for the jury and not as effective. Like they say, a, a, a photo uh, speaks a thousand words. So you want those photos and videos to really set the scene. And that's so important in these nursing home and assisted living facility cases because that's not just where an injury happened or in this case, a sexual assault happened. It's also the person's home. Uh, it's where the employees, the nursing staff and aides go to work every day. It's where the rubber meets the road in terms of the corporate decisions on staffing, whether there's enough people. So being able to show the layout, being able to, to teach the jury about that is so, so important. Uh, it's also important to be able to show our experts that as well. So we have experts who talk on things like staffing, organizational structure, uh, how they train and monitor employees. Well, understanding where things are, where the nursing stations are with relation to the rooms or the therapy department, those kinds of things can add so much information for the jury, but also for our experts. Uh, it also helps me as a lawyer, because I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna sit down with 10, 15, 20, 30 employees and former employees of this facility, and I'm gonna be asking them questions, what happened where? The idea that I would be able to do that as effectively without even having been in the facility uh, is, is a little ludicrous. And so when I get resistance on this kind of thing, one of the things I say to the other side is, look, I'm gonna be sitting your people down and asking questions about this unit and that unit and where's this room and where's this un uh, facility, where's this part of the facility, or they're gonna bring up things. Well, that's the break area, that's the, the other therapy gym, that's the hallway where we, where we walk people. And I'm gonna have no idea what any of that means and I'm gonna be fishing about and wasting time, energy, money, not just of myself, but of the witnesses, of the defense lawyer, and maybe even of the court and the jury if I have the wrong impression of things than a witness does and we don't figure it out. So it really helps cut through a lot of that. Uh, and finally, there's an intangible element where you know we expect all these other things in every case where we do a site inspection, but you always learn something you didn't expect there's something an expert looks at and says, hey, you know, that shouldn't be there, or why is, why is this piece of equipment in the hallway, or this is unsafe, or, you know, we realize, well, wait a second, this room number might be really different than this room number, but they're actually just catacorner, even though they're in different units, they're within 20 feet of each other. Those kinds of insights you're never gonna get unless you get into the facility and can record what's going on 
you know, sometimes I get pushed back. Wasn't well, a HIPAA violation? What about the other residents? You know, we can account for that. Uh, you know, there's not a privacy interest in the common areas of these facilities, but we still are perfectly happy to blur faces. We're perfectly happy to ask other residents if they mind. Uh, I can tell you from personal experience, they never mind having someone new to talk to and hear a little bit about what's going on. The facility might not like that. The facility lawyer might not like that. But the residents, I've never had a resident who uh, minded in any way. So really important that your lawyer in these kinds of cases gets in there and gathers this kinds of evidence, this kind of evidence. And at least in Ohio, our state rules permit that. Many other states are the same. And of course, the federal rules that many states uh, follow follow the same pattern. I'm Ohio Nursing Home Abuse and Assisted Living lawyer, Will Eady, hoping everyone stays, stays safe and healthy in a nursing home. Thank you.